Hi everyone, I am Stephanie Brewster, fitness pro and transformation expert with a network marketing company. Now I'm coming to you guys today because of a text message that I got from a couple of my teammates just yesterday talking about how the top three trending things on social media, one of them was pyramid schemes. Now I think it's super important to come to you guys and explain to you what a pyramid scheme is and what you may not be considering a pyramid scheme yourself. Now, by definition, if you Google pyramid scheme, it basically is when somebody is in a certain position and they either recruit um, people to go out there and sell product, um, push product, or you do it yourself. Now, without people going out there and selling somebody else's product, the company doesn't make any money. So they rely on those people to basically sell the product for them in order to build revenue and create an income for not only themselves, but for the company in general. Now, when I say that, I think about my job. I have worked on the Las Vegas Strip for many years doing several different types of things. So I'm going to show you what my pyramid scheme is versus what you think it really is. Now, clearly here you have your job or my job versus MLM or NM. MLM stands for multi-level marketing and NM stands for network marketing. Now, when you think of a pyramid, this is what you're going to see. Doesn't matter what type of job that you have, this is literally what anybody's profession looks like unless you're actually an entrepreneur. All right, so your job will always look like a pyramid. Doesn't matter what you do unless you're an entrepreneur, which would be MLM or network marketing in general. So at the very top of your pyramid, you have a CEO. Doesn't matter who it is, it's just there's somebody at the top of the chain that you will always have to answer to. Underneath the CEO, you have the president of the company who was recruited by the CEO. Does that make sense? Okay, moving forward. Underneath the president, you have a vice president who was recruited by the president, who was recruited by the CEO. Do you see where we're going with this? Awesome. Okay, so underneath the vice president, you have upper management. Underneath the upper management, you have supervisors. Underneath the supervisors, who do you have? All the hardworking workers. Okay, so it doesn't matter where you are in the tree, this is literally what your pyramid looks like. It will never change. These people down here are what make most of the revenue in order for the CEO to make his money. So let's just say, for example, I have worked as a server, as like a waitress or a bartender in the industry here in Las Vegas. That would be me down here. Without having a bartender or um, waitresses that work in a restaurant or some type of venue, nightclub, day club, whatever it is, the CEO doesn't make money because who's gonna do all that work other than us? He's not gonna come out there and do it, right? So let's just say I am a bartender at some venue, it doesn't even matter where the venue is, but I'm a bartender, depending on my sales, depending on how hard I work and how much revenue and money that I bring in, the supervisor doesn't make his money or his bonuses, upper management doesn't make their money or their bonuses, neither does the vice president, the president, or the CEO. So if I failed to be able to hit certain numbers, then that is a direct reflection on the people above me in rank. Now, if I was able to hit a certain rank for numbers that they asked me to hit, let's just say I was a bartender at a day club, and this has actually happened before, where I rang $15,000 on a Saturday, $15,000. And I'm one of, I think it was like 25 bartenders at the time. I rang $15,000 on a Saturday. Guess what? My supervisors probably got somewhat of um, acknowledgement for that. Upper management did, vice presidents did, presidents did, and the CEO was probably sitting somewhere at a cabana at that pool while I was doing all that work. Does that seem like a pyramid to you? Because it seems like a pyramid to me. Now let's just say I was in the weeds and I was six people deep and I was trying to bartend as fast as I can, but I just couldn't keep up. Would this person ever come out of his position and come down here to help me? No, because I'm the one making him all the money. 
And the same with, I may get a supervisor to come down and help. Sure, I may have an upper management come down. Vice president, president, CEO will never come down and help me because this person has no clue who I am and all they care about is making their money. And to me, that seems like a pyramid. Seem like a pyramid to you? Okay, let's move over here to MLM and network marketing. Let's just say that this is me and I am not in any type of a position to make any money in my network marketing company unless I help somebody else. Now, I can easily say, yes, my goal is to make $50,000 a year, awesome, but I'm not able to make that money just by going out there and, and like signing up a bunch of people just to sign them up. I have to be able to provide some type of service to them, and my way of providing service is I work for a nutrition company, so, or I work, I work with a nutrition company. So if I had my mom come to me and say, Stephanie, I have a really hard time cooking all my food all the time because I work so much and the food that I am buying is normally going bad in the refrigerator by the time I get to eat it, do you have a solution for me? Sure, mom, I've got some meal replacements, why don't you try those? So here's my mom. I helped my mom find that void in her life. I wasn't going out there and just asking if she wanted to join my team because that's not what makes you money. That doesn't make you money at all, so I don't care how perfect people make network marketing sound. There has to be a void in somebody's life and for me to be able to fill it in order for me to make money out of this. So let's just say my mom goes and recruits my sister. My sister's name is Serena. Serena is actually going through chemotherapy right now because she has a severe case of lupus. So my sister doesn't necessarily have great types of nutrition to choose from because why? Our foods out there are nutritionally robbed by the time they get to our mouths, even by the time it's put in the soil, if it's plants. There are hormones, pesticides, chemicals, antibiotics, um, everything that you can possibly think of in your food is going right into your mouth. So if my sister's going through chemotherapy, what would be the point in feeding her something that was pumped with antibiotics and hormones after she finished her, her therapy? There wouldn't be one. So my sister's like, you know what? I'm not getting the best form of nutrition. Mom, can you help me out? Absolutely. I have something that's completely stripped of all toxins and this would help you feel better. So here, let me fill that void in your life. Guess what? Now my mom's making money because she helped my sister and I'm able to make money because I helped my mom help my sister and so on and so forth. Let's just say this tree keeps going. I am not able to do anything unless I help my other people grow. Same on this side. I've got two legs in my company, so I just keep this going. Now, if I'm not able to help these people, then there's something in um, network marketing for me that I'm able to go do. If I can't help these people, guess what? I, gotta, I have to go find more people. I have to go find more people and help their people find people. And I have to help their people find people, whoever they may be, and helping them in whatever way that I want. Now, if this looks like a pyramid to you, so be it but I don't do anything in my company financially unless I'm helping other people. This guy doesn't give two craps about what I'm doing down there as long as I'm making him money. He's never gonna come down here and help me wipe off the bar top. He's never gonna come down here and help me if I have an irate guest who's upset that his vodka Red Bull cost $21. That's not his job, he doesn't care. He's in Hawaii right now. Just chilling with his family and reveling in all the money that we're making for him. I don't get to do that. If I take a week off, a month off, whatever, my business dies. So if I don't help my mom and I don't help my sister and I don't help anybody else, I don't make the finances that people assume that you're making in a pyramid scheme because that's a pyramid scheme. This isn't. I have to work for my money. Now, here's the best part about it. In network marketing, my sister has the same opportunity to make the same amount of money that I'm making, if not more. She can make more than me. And why is that? Because network marketing, my business is not directly linked to her business and hers isn't directly linked to mine. So my business is determined on my actions alone. If Serena wants to go out there and build a business and make $50,000, she certainly can. She's gotta help her people find their people. And if I wanna make $50,000 a year, I can de definitely do the same. I have to help my people find their people. Serena doesn't make money just because I'm signing people up up here. That's not how it works. 
And that's why it's not a pyramid scheme. My business is solely my business alone. So I wanted to come to you guys and just kind of break this down for you because everybody says that a pyramid scheme is this, when in all actuality, a pyramid scheme is one where you are working 10 times harder to make somebody else money and they have no clue who you are. They don't, they don't care. Why would they care? This company could be put in, um, of, you know, this person could be put in for a Fortune 500 um, magazine and be given credit for all the things that all these hundreds and thousands of people are doing down here. Am I saying that that person doesn't work? No, not saying that at all. But all the sales that I did as a bartender down here is what made this guy who he is at that moment in time. So for all those who think that a pyramid scheme is network marketing in general and network marketing alone, please educate yourself on what pyramid schemes really are because I guarantee you're in one right now working at your own job and you don't even realize it. And that is why I tell everybody that my reason for doing network marketing is to not only help those people who are trapped in their jobs, who go to work every single day and they're like, I cannot stand working at my job, I'm unfulfilled, I'm tired all the time, um, I don't have insurance, me. CEO, guarantee his whole family has insurance. We don't have insurance on here, but we're doing all the work. Does that make sense? My network marketing company pays for my insurance. My network marketing company also pays for my rent, they pay for my car note, they pay for a lot more than this company does for me. I'm the only one who can fire myself and I'm the only one who can give myself a raise over here. Could I be like go tomorrow? Absolutely. They may just not like me. They may go, you know what? I saw your video on YouTube and I see that you're clearly making enough money. Guess what? You gotta go. They don't care. I have no job security and neither do, does anybody else out there working in a pyramid like this, pyramid scheme, so to speak. I give myself a raise when I want to. I don't get a raise here. Doesn't matter how hard I work. Guarantee if I hit sixteen or fifteen thousand dollars the next week, what they're gonna do is go, all right, well you hit fifteen last week, let's hit sixteen thousand this week. If I hit sixteen thousand, guess what? They're gonna go, all right, we're gonna give you a really big push. Why don't you hit twenty thousand this week on a Saturday? And I'm still getting paid the same amount of money hourly, right? Exactly. That's a pyramid scheme. So definitely, if you guys know anybody that's in network marketing and you can see the vision that I'm talking about, I know it's really hard for the average person to see it because it doesn't really make sense. It's like watching, it's like looking at those pieces of paper back in the 90s that had like all those little dots on it and somebody's like, do you see the dolphin in the background? I was always that person going, I don't see anything but a bunch of dots. Does that sound familiar? Because I didn't see it at all until I opened my eyes and I said, you know what? I just got um, fired from my job because um, I didn't hit $20,000 on a Saturday. They let me go, but I was killing it. I was kicking butt. I was killing it and just making all these, making all these people money above me and they let me go. Can you imagine if I did $20,000 in sales over here? I just gave myself a raise. So you tell me, what's the real pyramid scheme? Do me that favor. Share this with everybody that you know in network marketing and share it with people that you know that don't understand network marketing because this is exactly what it is.